Hello, this is Dr. Kavyan Melani for Virginia Medical Updates. As we discussed in our previous sessions, the whole issue of cholesterol and treatment of cholesterol has been a dilemma for medical practitioners and cardiologists for a long time. About 10 or 15 years ago, in general, treatment was to goal, like we'll treat the LDL to 130, or treat the LDL to 100, or treat the low LDL to 70. However, about two years ago, this paradigm shifted and changed. With the emergence of new data that had been accumulated for the past 10 years, it was understood that treatment needs to now be confined to four groups of people. People that have diabetes, people that have had history of a heart or coronary event, people that have a 10-year risk factor, risk of about 7.5%, 7 or people that have basically history of, of hypertension or disease. In general, that guideline was balanced by a newer guideline by the United States Primitive Task Force Services in November of 2016, which just came out. It turns out that, in general, four groups of people need to be treated, but not to goal anymore. But these categories of people need to be treated. The category one is diabetics, people that smoke, people that have a risk of about 10% over the next 10 years of developing heart disease, or people with hypertension and heart disease. Basically, if these people are treated with low to moderate statins, like a pravastatin of 20 milligrams, like a Lipitor of 20 milligrams, of 10 milligrams, like a simvastatin of 20 milligrams, the outcomes do show significant improvement. And this is the way to treat this population. The goal, therefore, is not any longer to treat to a particular goal. But these categories of people, which includes people that have a smoke, diabetics, people that have heart disease, and people that have a risk factor of 10% over the next 10 years of developing heart disease based on a heart calculator. The paradigm shift is pretty clear, and this is really a very interesting and very exciting time to be involved in treatment of lipids because a whole new set of thinking has emerged and has really superseded the way we used to do things three or four or five years ago. And the emergence of and the possibility of treating with low dose statins is incredible because high dose statins like a Zocor semistatin of 40, like a Lipitor of 80, like a Crestor of 20, they have side effects. So now we have the possibility of treating with medications that are much less toxic, cause less myopathy, and are very, very well tolerated. So this is a great development. So in short, the, the evidence now suggests, based on 19 randomized trials, 17 of which was actually sponsored by industry, uh, for the pharmacological industry, statins themselves, that if we treat these four groups of people, smokers, diabetics, people with risk of 10% over the next 10 years, and people with heart disease, it turns out that we can make a significant change in their outcomes and improve their um, longevity and decrease all-cause mortality. So this is a great development, and we now, the take home message is this, that we don't treat numbers, we treat the appropriate patient. This is great news, and we look forward to have any questions or concerns addressed to us at Virginia Medical Updates. The take home lesson here is that we treat not numbers, but we treat the appropriate patient.